I'm starting off with gathering the attendance data for each scheduled activity and initially he had us set up this uh, PHP unit XML file where we're adding the database connection being an SQLite and the database um, being this colon memory colon um, so this is um, for PHP unit so it's just for testing but it's allowing us to execute the, the database calls and, and allows us to have an in-memory database so that's been set up and because of the test driven approach I went into the tests folder under feature we're trying to view a scheduled activity that's the first thing and then I'll be able to add to it to be able to check off someone but I'm just trying to see if I can replicate some of the basics of this series so within this first test method the user can view a scheduled activity I've created a scheduled activity I'm referencing a class that doesn't exist I want it to be able to have an activity, a date, and a resident. And I actually want this to be able to call on all of the residents and have sort of an active status for the residents so that it will populate an entire list on the view. I'm having trouble right here. It's passing by this without causing an error. And I want to understand why it's doing this okay for the tests when I run that test. It says uh, I have a risky test. So I want it to, to go ahead and flag it here because, well, when I ran the test initially, you know, it's telling me, okay, you don't have a scheduled activity uh, class, so you have to go make that class. Um, I'm having to use the refresh database, which was used to be the database migrations call. I've, I'm referencing my class, so that's now fine. I've got carbon in there for this date. So that's fine, I've imported it because I was getting errors on all of that initially. That's how we're moving through the, the test. This is my question, how do I make it to where it doesn't skip over this, causing it a risky test? I want it to force me to drive out that endpoint, the scheduled activities endpoint. 